All right, it is time. 200 days of Stardew Valley. Don't forget to do this stuff for the algorithm. And other than that, let's get straight into it. Day 101. Let's start right where we ended. My first big objective was to collect a ton of cinder shards. I ended the day with about 80 of them and used some of them to enchant my hammer, getting me artful my very first try, which was very handy. The main reason I want artful is because it halves my ability cooldown, letting me do my combo more often. After that, I planted some pineapples since my sprinklers were just sitting idle. Then I headed off to bed. Day 102. On day 102, I cleared the volcano dungeon again, and then, since I had enough walnuts, I opened the quarry, freed Professor Snail with a mega bomb, and... Wow. Uh, a mushroom cave. Now I have a mushroom cave and a fruit pack cave. That, that's incredible. Now that my passive aggressive remarks against the mushroom cave are over, I decided to collect some more golden walnut, then planted some pineapple seeds I got. Day 103. Day 103, I headed back to my farm and did some chores like getting the Bug Guts quest finished and restocking my jars. I also tried to open some artifact I'd gotten, but sadly, Clint was away at the community center. After that, I cleared the volcano again. Too many cinder shards can never hurt. After that, I just passed out. Day 104. Day 104, I cleared the volcano once more, then enchanted my pickaxe, and managed to get swift. Mostly did my axe, and it gave me powerful, meaning I basically had an iridium axe, which was kinda nice I guess. After that, I went back to the town and killed a couple bugs for the quest I had grabbed, then passed out. Day 105. Day 105, I did some farm chores and crafted seed makers for Ginger Island. My plan was to fill it with strawberries, cranberries, and blueberries, while I waited for my ancient fruit to be ready. It took all day, but by the end, I was good to go. Day 106. Day 106, I finished up the last of my cranberry planting, then cleared the volcano again. I'd also grabbed three rubies from my chest on the mainland, so I added them to my hammer, increasing my damage a ton. Day 107. Day 107, I quickly farmed some coal, then opened my artifact troves, and managed to get a banana sapling. This was super nice because I wouldn't have to buy the trader, meaning I'd get the island obelisk sooner. After that, I cleared the volcano again, then I was off to bed. Day 108. On day 108, the footage is briefly messed up since I accidentally moved Stardew and OBS, but TLDR, I failed the crystal puzzle, got some more artifacts, managed the bug meat quest, then I headed to bed. Day 109. Day 109, I headed over to the Winter Festival and gave a gift to Leah. It was super lucky because I actually planned to marry her, and this sped it up a ton. After that, the day was pretty much gone, so I did some chores, then I headed to bed. Day 110. On day 110, I collected my reward from the bug quest and headed to the island. After that, I cleared some of the island and started the Sailor's Wife quest. Day 111. On day 111, I planted a ton of terror tubers so I could trade them for farm warp totems. I know I could spam the casino, but I really don't want to do that. After that, I headed home briefly, did some chores, and then as I arrived back to the island, I noticed a bubble spot. So I decided to fish there until I got all five golden walnuts from fishing, since I was missing a few of them. After that, I fixed up the hotel and started checking out the pirate's cave. I was getting close-ish to the walnut room, but I was still a ways off. After that, I cleared the volcano, then headed to bed. Day 112. On day 112, I went and enchanted my fishing rod, and managed to get master on it, which was kinda nice. After that, I harvested my ginger island farm, then prepared my greenhouse a bit more. I also started seed making strawberries for spring. Day 113. Day 1 of spring, baby! I started preparing the land ASAP, with only a quick break to buy some potatoes. After that, I hold all day, and managed to plant some with a little bit of time left over, but decided I didn't hate myself, so I didn't water them all. Day 114. On day 114, I headed over to Ginger Island and cleaned up what I had planted. I decided to remove the coffee I had planted because the crops I was planting was probably going to make me more money than the cost of coffee, so I could just use it to buy that. After that, I gifted Leah some salad and cleaned up the bottom of my farm since it was a bit out of control. Then I was off to bed. Day 115. Day 115 was a lot of running around, since I decided I wanted to complete the island old lady quest. After finishing that, I couldn't even collect my ward since it was raining, so she wasn't outside of her hut. After that, I did some farming, then slept. Day 116. First thing I did on day 116 was to collect my golden walnuts from the old lady. Since I now had enough, I bought the trader so I could buy my warp totems. Then I cleared the volcano again and failed the darts in the pirate cove and ran home to bed in shame. <laughs> day 117. I did some ginger ale and chores, then headed home and placed more sprinklers to maximize potato profits. After that, I farmed for some more ancient seed for funsies, then headed to bed. Day 118. Day 118, I decided I was going to do a no slingshot run to see how good I was with that. Very good, with me getting a ton of secret notes and ending with 8 prismatic shards. A very fun day, and a beginning of my skull cavern grind days. Day 119, I harvested my crops on Ginger Island, then headed over to the forge and started enchanting all my gear. I got swift on my hoe and bottomless on my watering can. I did have one more shard, but I didn't want to risk getting efficient, so I stuck with the bottomless on my watering can. After that, the terror tuber empire continued to grow, then I was off to bed. Day 120. On day 120, I grabbed a potato harvesting and selling quest, then harvested and sold my potatoes for some bonus money from the quest. I decided to chuck the potatoes in my jar simply because they were just sitting idle otherwise. I normally wouldn't do this, but it's better than nothing I guess. After that, I quickly ran over to Ginger Island and got some extra strawberry seeds, then filled the rest with potatoes. 
After that, I made a ton more quality sprinklers for the island. Day 121. After that, I grabbed my fishing food I got ages ago from the community center and started trying for the legend fish. I got it, but then I accidentally ate it. Uh, don't ask how, just blame my stream. Okay, after I started the day, I caught it again and I'd finally completed catching every legend fish. However, my day was ruined because all of them were gold, except for one. So, I kinda ruined my life, but other than that, I was happy. After that, I headed to the island and just messed around until I passed out. Day 122. Day 122 started with me harvesting some cranberries, then heading home to my farm, and briefly attempting to make my farm look nice, and then giving up and harvesting my strawberries. After that, I was feeling a little generous, so I collected my fruit berries from the cave. Try doing this, mushroom cave users. I just wandered around and gave anyone I saw a berry, since they are universal likes and all are ready in quality. After that, I drove myself insane with some Juno Macarth, then headed home to sleep. Day 123. Day 123, I collected some potatoes I planted late, grabbed an ancient fruit from my plant, and seed maker did and planted it. After that, I cleared my greenhouse of cranberries and strawberries, then fully speed growed it since I wanted my ancient fruit empire sooner rather than later. I also planned to put some iridium sprinklers. After that, I got some garlic seeds for the frog feller on Ginger Island. Then I farmed for gold till I passed out. Day 124. Since today was a decent luck day, I was off to Skull Caverns. It went pretty well with me getting up around floor 150. My main goal with these runs was to gather a lot of ore, have some fun, and work on monster eradication goals. I also managed to get a lucky ring, so that was pretty sick. Day 125. I had an itch for murder on day 125, so I killed bugs to the egg festival to try to get more ancient seeds. The egg hunt went well for me, with me claiming my victory with 12 eggs. I also stole a thousand gold from Abigail and the children, so lamau. Day 126. Today I got all my crops, then headed to the bus fella to get the lucky charm. I also decided I was going to do a lucky ring and iridium band combo, then swap that on and off with my espresso and iridium ring combo as needed. I did that, then dealt with my crops on Ginger Island before heading to bed. Day 127. Day 127 was a day of wood. I collected all my trees in the train station, then spent the entire rest of the day covering the desert with seeds. You might think this is a waste of a day, but look, it, it's so pretty. Day 128. This day I did some more skull caverns casually, trying to get to floor 100 for the bonus health. Sadly, I did not quite reach it today. I was only a couple floors off though. Day 129. Day 129 I tried again and did it. The extra 25 health would make it much harder to die to slimes. Day 130. Day 130 was really just on a skull cavern streak, so I headed back again. Day 131. Day 131 I actually ran out of potatoes to replant so I went and bought some more. After that I crafted some tree fertilizers and started speeding up my oak trees. I also had another plan for the desert. I was going to turn it into a cake farm. The skull cavern runs provide the iron and copper, the trees the wood, and the oak trees the rest. The fertilizer just speeded up for my sanity. After that I checked the traveling card so I could get the star drop from the dude in the forest. Day 132. On day 132 I decided to cover as many tiles as I could with sprinklers, which led to... this. <laughs> I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> After that, I murdered some bugs because it was late. Day 133. On day 133, I grabbed my jade and traded it all for staircases for our next serious skull cavern run. After that, I bought some coal and made a bunch into preserve jars. After that, I upgraded my hoe to cop. A little bit after that, I decided I was going to turn the bus stop into my preserve jar and fire. Day 134. Day 134, I cleared the volcano, then grabbed all my terror tubers and got some more warp totem. After that, I chilled with some more sprinklers and chore. Day 135. Day 135, I put a bunch of tappers in my oak trees that had grown, then did some more volcano runs. Day 136. I deforested the ginger islands, then accidentally went to the flower dance and just stood in the corner awkwardly. Day 137. I headed over to the desert and put some more tappers on my oak trees. After that, I did some chill skull caverns. Day 138. I grabbed my last potato harvest on day 138 and finalized my sprinkler plan for summer. After that, I just did some chores, then headed to bed. Day 139. Day 139, I grabbed my ginger island crops, made another ancient seed, and farmed some coal. I also accidentally completed the bat killing quest goal. After that, I cracked open the three golden coconuts I'd been saving, and got the golden coconut hat, which was pretty sick. After that, I headed over to the desert and chopped down some mahogany trees that had just been growing, then bought some star fruit for the greenhouse so the spaces wouldn't just be idle while I waited for more ancient fruit. After that, I deforested a little and respect my foraging so I could get more woods from tree temporarily. Day 140. Day 140, I headed over to the community center and planted a ton of trees while waiting for 12 o'clock so I could get my Junimo guy. After that, I bought some spaghetti so I could make friends with Robin so I could complete the puzzle on Ginger Island with the mermaid. Then, I went and bought some trees from the traveling cart since, since they're cheaper from the store and I may as well have them going for gifts. After that, I was off to bed. Day 141. I started the hoeing grind. Even with only copper and swift, it was a pain. There was no chance I was going to be able to get it done with only a normal hoe. After that, I went and spent my entire bank balance on 999 starfruit seeds. After planting it all, there was no chance I was going to water it, so I headed to bed. My summer profits safe and sound. Day 142. 
Day 142, I refilled my jam and grabbed some oak resin and chopped tree. Then I just mined till I passed out. Day 143. Day 143, I was back to the mines. I was collecting iron ring copper and omni geode since I needed all three for cake and the fancy color changing hat. Day 144. Day 144 was the first real Skull Caverns run. I decided to buy a magic rock candy and it paid off, let's just say. I instantly went down to around floor 40 using staircases, then started the run. I ended the day with 18 prismatic shards, 750 iridium ore, a auto petter, and tons of other handy goodies. Day 145. On day 145, I had a few more ancient fruit to add to my empire and another harvest of jam, bringing me even closer to the 1 million I needed for the island warp totem. After that, I did some island chores and prepared other crops the frog wanted. I also cleared the dig set so when I get the bone quest, I'm ready. After that, I failed the memory quest and rage quit. Day 146. Day 146, I set up my cake farm and kept farming for the savage ring. If you're wondering what the savage ring does, basically it gives you a speed boost every time you kill a monster for a couple seconds. So my plan was to swap it on and off in skull caverns whenever I kill a monster. Day 147. Day 147, I kept farming for the savage ring. This was easily one of the most annoying grinds I've done so far, since the enemies spawn so rarely. <laughs> I also accidentally ate some red mushrooms and killed myself, which brought my day 147 to an abrupt end. Day 148. Day 148, I got a couple more ancient seeds. I also gave Leah another salad. Then I refilled my jars again. Then I bought some wheat seeds for the island and chopped down some trees in my desert. Day 149. Day 149, I did some more skull caverns. Day 150. Day 150, I expanded my quarry keg farm and got my hoe up another level. I also got a nice Leah cutscene. Day 151. I grabbed a magic rock candy and got some friendship from the Lua. Day 152. Today, I used yesterday's magic rock candy and tried for another Skull Caverns run. It was worse than my first one, but still decent. It got 10 prismatic shards and around 500 iridium. Day 153. Day 153, I planted some more ancient seeds, then did some general farm maintenance like chopping trees and more. Day 154. I harvested some of my starfruit on day 154, then vibed with some skull cavern. Day 155. Today, I got the rest of my starfruit, then replanted some of them, just chilled with a bit of fishing. Day 156. Today, I cleaned up my farm by moving some chests and used a bunch of pads to clean up the look. It's decent, but I think I can make it look a lot better. Day 157. I mined a little, then filled some goods around my farm, like kegs and furnaces. Other than that, the day was pretty empty. Day 158. Day 158, I got some more trash and managed to catch two lava eels, which was cool. After that, we grabbed some jam for profit. The trash quest was also a breeze with the lava floor method, so that was nice. Day 159. Day 159, I finally made the ginger ale and frog happy and got the rest of the golden walnuts, leaving me only five walnuts off. I also finished the memory puzzle and got the last two ones around the island, letting me unlock the walnut room. Both of these quests were super annoying, so I decided not to do them, but when I could, I was pumped. Day 160. Day 160, I organized my island chest, then did a volcano run. Day 161. Today I bought some starfruit seeds while collecting my oak resin and toured all of the cranberries from Ginger Island because I wanted to plant starfruit instead. By the time I finished, it was late and I headed off to bed. Day 162. Today it was Monday, so I grabbed the Mr. Key Legend fish and started getting them all. It took all day, but I actually managed to pull it off, which was very nice and kind of a surprise to me. I also had a keg harvest, which was very nice money-wise. Day 163. It was my IRL birthday today, I recorded day 163, so I celebrated with a little bit of Skull Caverns. Day 164. Today I decided I was finally going to treat my animals right, so I bought some hay and filled the empty spaces in my barn. I also made 150 fiber seeds for some reason and planted them, I guess because because I'd never used them before. <laughs> day 165. More Skull Caverns on day 165. Day 166. I farmed for the Savage during all day on day 166. Pain. <laughs> day 167. I grabbed the last few of my starfruit on day 167 and planted a few more ancient seeds. After that, I farmed more ores and void spirits before going and finishing the wizard's quest, letting me build some Juno huts all over the farm, which was very convenient for crop harvesting. Day 168. I was painfully close to finishing the void spirit grind, so I powered through and managed to finish it. After that, I chilled with some Juno cart until late. Day 169. Day 169 was the start of the fall, so I started by hoeing all the ground I could. Then I filled it with pumpkins. Hoeing was a lot easier thanks to the gold hoe, but iridium definitely would have been the play. Sadly, I was short on time and I couldn't upgrade it before fall started, but gold was better than nothing. Day 170. Today, I chickened out and took the legendary fish quest instead of the 50k points in Juno cart endless mode. I managed to get the Son of Crimson Fish, which was a decent start, but way worse pace than my last one. Day 171. Day 171, I collected all of the ingredients for the island warp totem and spent my last 1000 gold on a trip to the island to get my dragon teeth. After building my salvation, I chopped trees till late. Day 172. Today I finished getting all the legend fish, and ate the legend fish too because, I don't know, like, I wanted to I guess? After that, I did more Juno Cart. Day 173. We're getting super close to the ancient fruit goal in the greenhouse, and more seeds did nothing but help that today. I also finally beat Juno Cart, meaning I can get my very own arcade cabinet. Meaning, I could play more Juno Cart? Wow, this is a pretty terrible reward now that I'm thinking about it. Day 174. Even though I completed Juno Cart, I, I, I kept playing. What's wrong with me? 
<laughs> I also went and gambled. You can probably guess how I did. Day 175. Today I began my quest to complete the missing bundles, so I got the gold quality fish and the prismatic shard. Other than that, I just ran over all around the map, kinda just doing a whole lot of nothing. Day 176. I cleared the forest once again and grabbed the key quest to get four prismatic shards. Let's just say I had a few lying around it. It was not very difficult to complete. Pretty much just free gems. They're just, they're just giving them away at this point. Day 177. Today we have a bit of a throwback and I did the volcano again. Then just fished and messed around for a while. Day 178. This day I opened some golden coconuts and got two banana saplings, which is pretty crazy, at least for me, since I never get them normally. After that, I, I cleared the volcano again. Yeah, yeah, I, I do a lot of that, I know. More fishing and chilling on 179, then checked out the omelette from the egg quest I did earlier. Then, more dunamo cart, cause of course man, come on, at this point you just know that's happening. Day 180. The first objective today was to get a cellar, so I went and bought that, then just fished for a while. Day 181. Today, since it was Abigail's birthday, I decided to hunt her down and give her an amethyst. Then I donated a couple more things to the missing bundle, getting even closer to the movie theater. Day 182. Since I had placed on a few more cakes, I filled them with starfruit and got some more profit. I also played the two-player Prairie King, which is actually really cool. I honestly really wish they would add this fully into the game, because it would make Prairie King way more tolerable in my opinion. Day 183. Since it was Monday, we had a bunch more quests, so I grabbed Key's Hungry Challenge and gave that a try. It was not super hard, but harder than I expected to be honest. I used minimal ladders till I got low HP, then just rushed all the way down to floor 100. I also grabbed my pumpkin harvest. Day 184. It was the day of the fair on day 184, so I got a bunch of things quickly, then headed over and won the fair. I decided I was going to yellow all my points, and <laughs> it went about as well as you would guess. <laughs> day 185. With my points from the key quest, I finally managed to get the horse whistle. I kinda just vibed the rest of the day, gifting people more stuff. Day 186. Since it was Thursday, I grabbed my magic rock candy. I was gonna do a run, but it's only neutral luck, so I decided not to. I also bought the furniture catalog, and may made this. I don't know either, man. <laughs> just kidding, it is amazing if you hate it, you are dumb. Yep, yeah, I'm saying it. Day 187. It was a max luck day on day 187, so I headed to the mines with my magic rock candy. I got 10 prismatic shards and a couple hundred iridium, which was pretty good progress. Day 188. Day 188, I tried my best to catch the 10 sunfish for a quest I picked up, but I failed. I also just did some general money making chores. Day 189. Today, I decided I was going to search them up to my 4000 ish iridium. I decided I was maybe going to do a last push for the return scepter. Day 190 was pretty empty, just getting some basic stuff done. Day 191. More smelting on day 191. I also made a dino hat. My character's so cute now. I also got my fairy roses I planted a few days ago, Let me get my silver wine for the missing bundle, so I got a nice cutscene. I also got my starfruit wine, giving me more than half a million gold, getting very close to return scepter. Day 192. Today I decided I would sell my stockpile of crops, save for kegging and jarring, on day 192, since I wouldn't have enough time to do them all. That brought me even closer to the return scepter. After that, I went and grabbed the dangerous wine quest and started clearing it. This is my favorite key quest by far, it's just so fun to do. The hammer combo is so satisfying on the levels with the spiders and the mushrooms. I didn't quite finish it in time, but I made some good progress. Day 193. I finished off the mines quest today, even if it was only barely. I finished it at like 1.50am. So that was more key gems for me. Day 194. I smelted more iridium, then headed over to the island and decided to get a galaxy soul. If I got lucky with quests, I could get an infinity hammer, which would be fun flex. So I went to the movies with Leah to get even closer to marrying her. Day 195. I started getting through my stockpile of stuff today, like eggs, milk, etc. Then just played some Juno Kart until late. Day 196. Today, I bought the Return Scepter, so that was cool, and a, a very cool, cool objective completed in my opinion. Not not many people have that year too. Okay, well people do, but like, I'm still proud of it. After that, I just did a quick fishing quest. Day 197. Day 197, I got the Dangerous Skull Caverns quest. I didn't get it done today, unfortunately, because it was already 3pm, so I just I just wouldn't have time to get down that far. Or I might have, but I, I didn't want to risk it. This is probably my second favorite quest, simply because the mines are very difficult. Get some cool gear, and uh, the monsters take a couple more hammer combos, which is annoying, but also a bit more of a challenge. Day 198. I grabbed all my gear on day 198 and started heading out. My pace was pretty terrible, but I made it in the end. I also got two red cabbage seeds. Two of them. What? Day 199. Day 199, I bought two more galaxy souls and got an infinity gap. After that, I pretty much just vibed with Juno Mokart and walked around. <sighs> also, I need to mention something. I'm not gonna be able to marry Leah. I had 10 hearts with her, I just needed the pendants, so I needed it to rain. It didn't rain in fall, so I used the rain totem twice in winter and, and it didn't work both times. I'm very frustrated because I'm 95% sure it should work in winter, and I, I don't know why it's not working, so kind of unfortunate that I failed that part, but uh, what can you do, I guess? 
day 200. On day 200, I set up a little photo shoot with me and a bunch of my statues. Mine the meteorite that had been with us for ages. After that, I gave Haley a prismatic shard, <laughs> ate the legend fish, and went to bed. <laughs>